Hey guys, Luke here, I'm here to bring you a brand new series for Rugby League Live 3. Now, I'm still going to be continuing the series that I've currently got going on my channel, and I don't expect to be uploading this every day or anything, but, you know, by any means, but I uh, will be trying to upload this, you know, as as regularly as possible, but basically the idea of this series is going to be a road to glory, it's going to be an English road to glory, and I think that's the perfect way to do it, promotion, that sort of stuff. I assume it's on this game, if it's not, I'll be quite disappointed, but uh, we, only, we are going to be starting off in the lowest league possible, um, which is the Kingston Press League 1, and we're going to be playing as Oxford. Um, the reason I picked them is I think they were rated pretty bad, plus um, I liked their, their logo and um, their colours, blue and white. I think they've got a pretty good logo. So I decided to go with them purely off the, ba you know, off the you know, base of their colours, really. And, you know, Oxford seems like a good name, good logo. And thought, why not? Um, so basically, I'm going to be playing, uh, you know, like I said, in the lowest league. Try and get them promoted into the top leagues. If for some reason promotion doesn't really work out too well, well then I'm just going to probably leave them and go into the next league, the Kingston Press Championship, and then, you know, if that doesn't get promoted for some reason, it uh, doesn't work, then I will just go to a team in the Super League. Now, I could have went to a side in the Super League, and I did think about this, but I will just let you know, I did record this, uh, the first seven episodes in terms of gameplay-wise. I recorded them back in September when the game first came out, so... Um, you might think, man, you seem really shit at this game. That's because I was kind of shit at this game. But as you can see, ratings-wise for these players, they're not great. They're pretty poor. Um, so it was, a, it was a whole different element to the game. It actually kind of opened my eyes, you know, makes you a better player playing with these sort of guys. Because you can't just rely on pace. You can't just rely on, um, on strength to palm off players because your players just won't do it. Now, looking at the most of the players... Uh, about mid 60s who will be playing for us, but there's you know there's a few players in the 70s um, or you know the high 60s. I think they're basically f they're mostly forwards, but halves wise we haven't really got anybody who stands out. You know hooker position we're pretty poor there. So um I mean it's going to be tough for us early on. Eventually they you know they will progress quite well. Have you seen with the Be a Pro series? They did they do progress pretty well. Um you know when they're they're lower rated, but uh, for the preseason I decided just to um. And just to simulate all the games, here you can see it's not going too well for us. Getting absolutely uh, smashed. I don't know if Borough Raiders, you know, are in are in the same league as us. Um, basically, I don't really know any of these sides. I know the South Wales Scorpions are, I think. So um, yeah, a lot of the players, a lot of the uh, the teams, I'm not really going to have any idea on. And uh, you know, at the time, I might have been able to pick up on a few players that. Um, you know, after a little while of scoring tries and, you know, just playing with them regularly, uh, I might know them after a bit, but uh, because it's been so long since I actually recorded this, I really can't remember. Now, what's actually quite cool about the Super League and about this is that you can have your custom numbers. Now, um, it was on Rugby League Life 2, but you couldn't pick them. I just decided to leave all the numbers um, the same, but you can see we've got, um, there's our side, we've got a lot of players who are wearing number 5 and like wearing number, you know, 34 and that sort of stuff. So, I do like, I do like that about, um, about England. And is quite interesting, uh, quite unique. Now, uh, what you might pick up on, I don't know about this side, I think it's Coventry we're taking on. As you can see, we get off to a, a pretty nice start there. Vickers, I think, might be a prop for us. Um, he actually, you know, came up with came up with the ball. Now, um, Davies, I think, is a half for us. We've got Newton, gets it to Jones, Bishop, to Brooker on the wing there. Brooker cuts back inside there, the number 26. That is something we're going to have to get used to. I do like it, but at the same time, it is, uh, it is quite hard to get used to because you're expecting, you know, winger to have number five. But, um, you know, this guy is a 5'8", I believe, and he's wearing the number six, so thank you for him. And I think the guy who scored, Davies, might have been a prop as well. Um, one of our better rated players, so it's nice for him to get on the board, but... Um, what I did start to say was that some of these slides you'll notice, for some reason, I don't know why, I don't know if it's because the squad, they realise the squads are, are pretty thin on this game, or, or what's the go, but basically, some of these slides that we're going to be taking on in the, the lowest league in um, the Super League, they're going to be having players who play in the Super League, which is, I don't know how to explain that properly, I uh, assume, hopefully you can um, understand what I'm saying, but for example, uh, this isn't this isn't one, just what I can think off the top of my head. Say so this team right here, taking them on, you're thinking they're all going to be played, you wouldn't really know, but then Rob Burrow pops up in the halfback position. Um, you know, it's those sort of ones, those sort of ones are a little bit frustrating because, you know, Harry Slacker right there, I'm pretty sure he plays in the Super League, doesn't play for Oxford, uh, so doesn't play for Coventry, I should say. So uh, it was quite annoying to come against some of these guys. You can see they're actually playing very, very well, um, Coventry. Uh, if they just drawed and passed there, they would have had a, had a nice try going on. But there's the inside board of Vickers. The unfortunate thing is that... Um, He's uh, out of stamina. And that's what I've. Be, that's what I found um, in this in this team is that I go from playing with at the time I was playing with Tigers probably like season one or season two, 
and you go from having players like Aaron Woods and you know those sort of forwards who can just play the whole game pretty much. Keith Galloway is another one. They're rated well enough that you know they don't have to sub them, although you do, you do sometimes. But you know they do have the ability to play the whole game. You know if all the cards fall in the place, but these guys get so tired, you're going to see way more injuries and that sort of stuff. And I should mention just the general ability offloads don't seem to stick very often. Um, as you can see, missing tackles right there, left, right, and center. And once they're around them, it's just pretty much game over. It's pretty much a try um, being scored. And it was heartbreaking as you can see this one right on half time. It was such a tough game. Now, it's not like the, the forwards don't really make many meters because, you know, I mean, on the game, they just don't make many meters in general. But um, obviously, our players aren't the greatest. The backs, you get any sort of, um, you know, line break that you used to say for me, passing it to like Kevin Aguama or someone. Almost a guaranteed try. Um, same not for Luma, everybody, anybody of those guys out in the wing, no guaranteed try. These guys you get the ball and you get tackled so easily because you guys don't have the pace. You got to stop relying on the pace, which is very very tough to uh, to get used to. But I'm pretty confident that I will get used to it. In fact, I know I do get used to it at some point. It's just a matter of when I go back to record these after not playing it for like six months or so, probably longer than six months. I can't do the maths off the top of my head, but. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite difficult. I did have a, a little bit of a game um, when I was streaming one time. Um, I think it was in Super League, and I did find it very tough for some reason. I don't know why exactly, but I should mention we did belt the shit out of the ball um, at the halftime, um, you know, the start of the second half. So that was a little bit annoying. Thankfully for us, it didn't really amount to anything. Um, no real chance for them. Uh, but yeah, I did sort of say it briefly before, uh, in terms of tackling as well, tackling is very hard because, you know, players are very tired, you don't want to, you know, get your players injured, um, as well as their just ability to, um, to tackle isn't that great to start off with, so you will find a lot of the time, you know, the first tackle will be palmed off, but it'll be the second guy who, who wraps him up, maybe even palming off two players. Now right here, absolute comical right here, it's just the fact that our, our players can't, they don't have great passing stats in a hooker position, I think the guy that we've got on right now, Kitson, I think he's in the 50 rated um, area, so, and I think he might be the bench hooker from memory as well, but uh, as you can see, um, the game isn't lost for us, we're still trying very, very hard, you can see Baird, I think it's JJ Baird, I think that's his name, or Jai Baird, something like that, he is going to make it into the corner, so the big forward makes it to uh, to the end zone, to the, the try line, and uh, he scores in the corner, now Allen, our goal kicker, Cannot convert it. Um, it is a tough kick. Denny Allen, 5'8". He's a pretty decent player, actually. Uh, not in terms of ratings, but just I noticed that he's progressed quite well throughout the season. Like I said, I'm like seven episodes, you know, into the season in terms of playing. So um, there is a few more things that I'll know um, to compare to you guys. But um, yeah, Allen is someone who I, I like. I think it's due to, uh, to, the, to the hair, pretty much. But that's what I'm talking about in terms of players just getting palmed off. Uh, now, the first guy got palmed off. You can forgive that. You can forgive that. It happens. You know, with the Tigers, we've seen players get palmed off. The fullback also getting palmed off in the exact same fashion. That's a no-no for me. And, um, yeah, the fullback definitely um, tackling is in his, his strongest area of his game. In fact, not really sure he has the strongest area of his game. As you can see right there, missing another tackle. And it's just, uh, you know, rinse and repeat at this stage. Um, just too much pace, too much strength. And basically, they're going to run away with this one, you would think. They've kind of just... You know, broke the deadlock sort of thing. It was a close game for a long while. But as you can see, there's 15 minutes left, and they've now got, I think it's a 14 point lead due to us missing the goal. And Harry Saka um, playing a big part. He has played in the NRL, I believe, as well. So, that if you're wondering why you might, you know, that name sounds familiar, that's the reason. The dude plays in the Super League, I'm pretty sure, and has just been drafted into this side for some reason, like a whole bunch of other Super League um, players. But, you know, you can see right there, another time we've dropped the ball now. Um, there's a few reasons for that. Obviously, the wet weather that happens all the time, just on any wet weather um, footy in general for some reason on this game, they just drop the ball like all the time. Has to be sort of a mount, a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a nice little play there. Unfortunately, we did decide to throw an offload when it wasn't needed, but um, yeah, offloads are absolutely terrible for this side. Even in normal, um, you know, normal conditions, you end up uh, dropping the ball quite a lot. Now, to finish off the game, we end up getting intercept. Unfortunately, nothing ended up coming from it. We couldn't, you know, we didn't get it into the right player's hands. Plus, there was just nobody around. I'm not even sure we have players who can go the distance um, should we get an intercept. But uh, anyways, a first up loss to the Coventry Bears. I actually do like their logo. Maybe I could have went with them. But um, yeah, not, not a terrible start in terms of our performance. It was okay. But um, yeah, for the most part, we do have a lot of improvement to make. And that's just going to happen. That's just going to happen. It was to be expected. Our side is not good. So um, yeah, hopefully as the season progresses, we'll be able to, you know, get our players up into the 70s and that sort of stuff. And, you know, just 
you know, get a better all-around ability in our side. Anyways, that's where the video is going to end. Hopefully, you enjoy it. It's something different. It's a different series. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to be received, but I'm going to upload it regardless. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, at Mr. Luke Almighty, face the page in the description below, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye, guys.